Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today it's time for another fun with math. This time it's so much fun that the fun can't stop spinning. Today's episode is all about the changes around the player stat caps. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more information of videos about Neverwinter, hit subscribe button. So, yesterday we got some interesting news of the devs that stats are going to work very different again to how they worked before. And today I will give you all an update on what happened. Do know that these changes are not on the real preview server yet, but on Friday they should be, or maybe they actually shouldn't. Uh, we'll let you decide that. So let's first look at the old situation. Um, it was written down in a developer blog before. Uh, it was already writ also written in a forum, but the forum thread uh, start has already been adapted to the new situation. The link to the blog can be found in the description below. So in mod 16 right now, the following things regarding stats and stat distributions apply. We have opposing roles. So uh, combat advantage works versus uh, defense, which has always been the case, but also critical strike works versus critical resist, uh, accuracy works versus uh, deflect, etc. Uh, so that's how, it, how it's been for a while now. Uh, the next one is that 1% is the same as 500 stat points. So if you have gear that gives you 1500 of a certain stat, that equals 3% of that stat. Next up, we have some limits to statistics. Um, critical strike starts at 5%, so you get 5% base without having anything uh, to start with, and you have 50% maximum. Combat advantage, you have 10% base and 100% maximum. Deflect, you have 50% max. Defense, you had 80% max and also very important, enemies have the same value for all their stats. For level 80 that means 14,000 for each and for layer of the Mad Mage that means 33,000 each or 32,000. I think 33. Doesn't matter. Um, this led to the following caps in the most extreme situation. So layer of the Mad Mage. Um, Yes, 32,000. My bad. Uh, armor penetration, you needed 32,000, accuracy 32. These were the values that you needed in Lair of the Mad Mage if you wanted to cap out everything. Of course, it's not super necessary, but these were the maximums that you could have. Everything above this is by definition worthless. So, now we go to the new situation. Um, no worries gave us an update on the upcoming changes, which once again, to make it clear, do not necessarily have to be final, but he stated the following on the official forum. And now that preview has been going for several weeks now, and there has been an immense level of feedback for us to review, we have, had, we have made some core changes to further improve the balance. Okay. These will likely go to preview later this week, so probably Friday, barring any complications. Ratings now convert at 1000 rating points to 1%. So rating points are half as effective, that basically means. Defense now caps at 50% damage ignored, down from 80%. Certain temporary buffs can bypass this cap up to a maximum of 80% damage ignored, which is most likely a, a mechanism for the tanks. Third, critter ratings have been adjusted to have two values. Defense, deflect, combat advantage and crit will be a higher value than the other four ratings. Critter ratings have been adjusted as well. For example, level 70 critters will have 7000 rating for critical resist Accuracy, Awareness and Armor Pen, and they will have 57,000 ratings for Defense, Deflect, Combat Advantage and Critical Strike. At Endgame, the ratings 
uh, the higher ratings are always 50,000 more than the lower ratings. Um, so yeah, those things are already very, very substantial. Um, there are three more points which basically state that at wills will have a relative increase, increase in damage compared to encounters and dailies. Um, it seems just like a buff to at wills. Um, it sounds like a nerf to encounter and daily magnitudes, but it basically doesn't state any details to be sure. Um, so my first response to this is, um, well, this, this is not a balance change. Balance changes are small tweaks to bring things closer to where you want them to be. And this is a big change, which will actually require balancing after it is rolled out. Combining this with the fact that the release date now has been set to the 23rd of April, things are getting quite tight. And I don't mean the cool version of tight. Um, so what does this mean for the old situation? We still have opposing roles. 1% uh, now is 1000 stats, as I said, half as effective. Uh, the, the maximums have not changed except for defense, which has gone from 80% to 50% max, which for DPS class is not, is not that important. And for healers, I think also is not that, this is not that big of a deal for every, everyone but the tank. Another big one is that enemies now have two different sets of values for their stats. And this one actually is also huge up next to this one. So what does that mean for our stat caps? Let's first look at armor penetration. Armor penetration has to overcome enemy defense and the old level 70 cap is 14,000. We're looking at the level 70 cap because that's actually the only values that we have received officially now. And there are some theories what level 80 might be, but yeah, I want to be as accurate as possible. So we're going to look at level 70 and level 80 things will be more extreme. So at level 70, the new enemy defense will be 57,000. Uh, defense is actually not that hard to overcome, you just need armor penetration and to overcome 57,000 defense you need 57,000 armor penetration. Very simple, uh, not, not a calculation yet, so no math yet, but um, yeah, at this point you will totally ignore the enemy's defense. One interesting thing to add here. Because there is a maximum of 50% damage reduction, the first 7,000 stats do nothing. Because 57,000 defense means the uh, enemy has a damage reduction of 57%. And there's no difference between 57 and 50% because it's always kept down to 50%. Probably doesn't make any big difference, but it's just nice to add this here. The next statistic that I want to look at is our, uh, accuracy. Accuracy has to overcome the enemy deflect. The old level 70 cap for ac accuracy was 14,000. Now enemies will have at level 70 57,000 deflect. Once again for uh, accuracy same as armor penetration it's not a very difficult way to calculate this the new level 70 cap for accuracy is exactly the same as their deflect, 57,000. At this point, you once again will totally ignore the enemy's deflect. Uh, just the same also as armor penetration, there is a maximum of 50%, so the first 7,000 actually don't make a difference. Next up, and here is where the calculations come in, is critical strike. Critical Strike has to overcome the enemy's Critical Resist. The old level 70 cap for Critical Strike was 36,500. And now we get some extra um, aspects here. Critical Strike has a base value of 5% and 
and a maximum value of 50%. The enemy's critical resist is 7000. So the new level 70 cap for critical strike can be calculated by uh, checking the difference between the maximum and base, which is 45%, multiplied by uh, 1000 stat points per percent, is 45,000. Then we also need to overcome the enemy's critical resist, which is 7000, gives a total of 52,000. And at that point you will have a 50% crit chance. You can also calculate at what point you start generating crit, and you can calculate it by doing 7000 minus the base crit, uh, which is 5%, which is 2000. So if you have 2000 or less, you will have 0% crit chance. So the first 2000 uh, points in critical strike don't have any value, which is not really a problem, I think. Next up is combat advantage. Combat advantage has to overcome enemy awareness. The old level 70 cap is 59,000, which was already quite high. The base for combat advantage is 10% and the maximum is 700, 100%. 100%. The new enemy awareness is only 7,000, which used to be 14,000. So the new level 70 cap for combat advantage can be calculated by 100% minus 10%, which is the amount you have to get above your base is 90% um, multiplied by 1000 is 90,000 and you have to overcome the enemy's awareness which is 7000 which gives a total of 97,000 at that point you have 100% combat advantage we can also check at what point you have 0% combat advantage which can be calculated with 7000 minus your base because uh, that's what you always have is minus 3000 of course, you cannot have negative stats, so 0% isn't possible. Next up is defense. Defense has to overcome enemy armor penetration. The old cap for defense was 54,000, which gave you 80% defense. Now, the defense maximum has been lowered to 50%. The new enemy armor, pen armor penetration is 7,000. So the new level 70 cap for defense can be calculated by 50% times 1000 is 50,000 plus you have to overcome the enemy's armor penetration which gives a total of 57,000 uh, stat points. And at that point you will have 50% defense. This does not seem like a big jump for this one but you have to take into account that your defense, your damage reduction is also lowered by 30%. All your defense points below 7000 um, don't have any value because the enemy will just penetrate your defenses. Next up is deflect. Deflect uh, has to overcome enemy accuracy. And the old level 70 cap for deflect was 39,000. Deflect also has a maximum of 50%. The enemy's Accuracy is 7000, so the new level 70 cap for deflect can be calculated by doing 50% times 1000 is 50,000 plus you have to overcome the enemy accuracy gives a total of 57,000 and at that point you have 50% deflect which is the same you had before. For this one also uh, if you have less than 7000 deflect it doesn't add anything so if you are at 4,000 and you can get uh, an enchantment that gives 12 on a deflect, it doesn't make a difference. Next up is critical resist. Critical resist has to overcome enemy critical strike. The old level 70 cap was a mere 16,500. New enemy critical strike can be calculated by 57,000, so the high value, plus the base critical strike of 5% times 1000 is a total of 62,000 and to overcome this with critical resist you also need 62,000 critical resist. The interesting aspect here is there is a maximum, uh, there is a cap for crit of 50%, the enemy has 62%, so 62,000 is 62%, so that means that the first 12,000 points 
will all result in the enemy having still 50% crits. So the first 12,000 points do not make a difference. The last stat uh, that I want to talk about is awareness. Uh, awareness has to overcome enemy combat advantage. The old cap at level 70 for awareness was 19,000. And a new enemy combat advantage can be calculated by 57,000 plus 10% multiplied by 1,000 because 10% is the base. The new level 70 cap for awareness is 67,000. Because awareness has a cap of 100%, there is no um, starting uh, point for awareness. So, um, to get this into an overview, um, the old level 70 caps are in this column. So 14,000 armor penetration, 14,000 accuracy, they're all here. And these values are the new level 70 caps. And as you can see, everything is a lot higher. So you need a lot more stats. And this is fine if everything is rebalanced around this. And I'm talking especially about the enchantments, rune stones, insignias, boons. They all give flat stats now. And well, yeah, they're all half as effective. So I don't know if they're going to change that, increase their effectiveness, or leave them as is. And, well, they're going to be very weak. Taking into account that the game is going to be released on the 23rd of April, they do not have a lot of time to balance this. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any remarks on this video or any uh, suggestions of what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.